Well, hello everybody. I was tagged. I was tagged by a little older of the EDC Austria channel, a channel both that he makes videos both in German and in English. Check him out if you want to. But I was tagged to do a pocket dump. Um, my biggest problem is I don't really hear EDC that many things, and I'm not that into that in now uh, now anyway but uh, well i will empty my pockets and then i think this video will uh, turn into a knife re review afterwards and uh, because of that i want to start out with uh, my knives pocket knife which i always carry and we will start with this one the tankram santa fe and then i'll review this one uh, afterwards but uh, this is what is in my pocket today, and we even have another knife, and this is the CRKG Ruger, uh, Golden Heavy it is called, a knife that is very quickly becoming my one of um, my favorites, sort of, at the moment anyway. It really, really grew on me in a, in a hurry, so I carry this uh, just for maybe the next review. And of course the tank room so that I could make this review. So then I carry a lighter, a very manly color, and this is a sort of a turbo lighter, I think they're called. They just uh, windproof, and as you can see, I'm a bit color coordinated because I have a flashlight, more or less the same color. <laughs> uh, matching colors, that's always a manly thing, so um, yeah. Uh, just to gather some more things, I have a, a multi-tool which is always in my car, so I guess it uh, follows me around a lot of the time because I use my car quite often. And uh, this is a rather old Gerber multi-tool, Gerber Flick, and I'll see if I can make it do the way it should. Uh, yeah, a lot of tools, scissors, uh, knives, so on. It is around me almost all the time, and then of course I carry. Well, I'm filming with it at the moment, but I carry a, a cell phone, of course, and it is besides the color is is exactly the same size and model, so that'll sort of be the representative. Then I, of course, have my keys. Not very special car key, door key, and. Uh, Pry tool that I got from uh, EDC Austria, a, fur, a fuller uh, pry tool, uh, which I like quite a lot. Uh, it's very handy to have in your in your key chain. So, and you know, <laughs> that's about what I have in my pocket. Oh, sorry, I have my watch as well. Well, it is a G-Shock, a very cheap one, but not very old. But I recently found a little bit of money to replace an old T-Shop, which was about 20 years old. And I thought that it was quite nice that it held up this long. And I have this new one. I quite like it. No big, no big uh, numbers or anything. Just a very uh, clean and tidy surface. And I like that a lot. And the G-Shop watches are very, very strong. strong. For the price this was about i guess 80 80 euro 80 dollars around that much and i'm quite fond of this one it just does what i wanted to do and is very very subtle that was about it uh, that's what i carry in my pockets so uh, i'll just put these things away and then we'll move on to the review. The Tangram Santa Fe. Uh, as some of you know who watched my previous video over the Tangram Amarillo. Uh, I'll see if I can just find it. It's here. The Tangram Amarillo. This very small little knife. Uh, it is the Tangram series. is a series of new knives from uh, from Kaiser. A very very budget series. These go for around 
25 to 30 euro and I think about the same amount in dollars uh, I'll just uh, I had a few issues but also I thought this was a very good knife but I'll just use it for some comparisons with the other one as, uh, as you can see it is a lot smaller it is a very, very small knife and uh, this size is sort of a mid-size uh, the, the Santa Fe but uh, I like that quite a lot still I'm very fond of this Amarillo but it had some issues and I'll mention them as we go along I'll just get the uh, red one for size comparison as you can see it is a bit smaller oh. there went the phone and but plate length is about the same more or less anyway yeah so let's put these aside I'll just put the Amarillo here for later uh, blade it's called a Kutu steel uh, this is an equivalent of a 440c steel which means it's a decent budget steel and uh, it's a sort of a Model, uh, sort of a sheep's foot, sheep's foot. Uh, very very thin behind the edge which is a nice thing nice thing and not super sharp on the edges and on the blade which is also nice jimping on top here which is absolutely useless gives no resistance whatsoever so this is yeah it's just for looks I guess and of course some small thumb, thumb studs which is not in the cutting path, path which is nice and a sharpening sword also very nice <coughs> moving on to the handle it is uh, uh, reinforced glass fiber reinforced nylon uh, it's what I yeah that's what it is and we have the little pivot screw and not there are two screws here and a and the lanyard hole which is not tuned but very nice anyway and looking at the other side very very deep carry pocket clip which I surely enjoy on every knife that has that so I think it's a very good thing and the pocket clip can be moved to the other side so it is ambidextrous uh, only tip up but ambidextrous anyway so that's nice for the lefties uh, it is Inside it is a bit milled out and since I have the flashlight I might as well show you if I can. It's milled out in the liner. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. And that saves even some weight. I'll put all the data in the end of the video uh, for you to pause and read. Uh, you know, length, length uh, width and weight and so on. Contrary to the, um, the Amarillo, which is on bearings, this one is actually on washers. Uh, it is uh, fossil bronze washers, but still uh, very, very nice action for, for washers. It came very, very smooth. It is not the same kind of smoothness as, uh, as bearings, but uh, in return you get at a very decent grip on the plate uh, in the pivot area and uh, some say uh, not so that uh, dirt and gunk not so easy easily gets into the into the pivot pivot fit and finish rounded off uh, scales liners flush with the scales as I said this <laughs> this jumping is very inobtrusive so unobtrusive uh, so that won't hurt anyone no sharp edges no sharp corners anywhere everything quite nicely rounded off actually and the centering is almost perfect lock up is around 45 50 percent which is quite nice as well 
and then we get come to the issue of ergonomics. And uh, as it's those of you who saw my uh, video on this Amarillo, this is the same pocket clip actually as this one. And I had an issue with this pocket clip inside my hand. It is really, really a hot spot inside. It it just makes a lot of um, it makes a lot of noise in your hand around the little finger. But uh, the the bigger size of this one, the handle actually moves the, the um, pocket clip out of that area and makes it a very much better uh, ergonomic knife and uh, indeed it is. I like the grip, the normal grip sort of, and the reverse is absolutely perfect. Even a reverse cut can be easily done and finally action. As usual with some studs, it's a little easier to, to deploy such a knife. Uh, as I said, it is on washers, but uh, it feels very smooth and easy to open. Uh, detent is not the strongest, but uh, it is rather easy to open. <coughs> so, sorry, I just have to have a sip of coffee. Uh, I just wanted to show you, like I did last time, this very, very nice box that they come in. Uh, very different, and I quite like that. But it's just a little thing, I know, but uh, I like it quite a lot. What do I think of, uh, about this knife and these knives? Well, we are in the 25 euro, 30 dollar area which means that they actually are competing a little bit with, for instance, uh, Ganso or Kershaw. And uh, in comparison to Ganso's, they are a bit uh, less sturdy feeling. They are not that heavy, but that doesn't necessarily make a bad, bad, necessarily make a bad knife. And uh, I think they are very, very good beaters and uh, work knives for that kind of money. And the feeling of them are, is that they are perhaps just a little more rounded off, a very, a very light and uh, a slicey knife, if I can say it that way. Uh, and I can say, especially the Santa Fe, but also this one, the small one. I like them quite a lot, and uh, very surprising uh, that Kaiser came out with uh, something that actually is a sort of competitor to the Vanguard series, but nevertheless they did. Um, I, in my previous video I, about this one, I had one big beef, and that's availability still. It is very, very difficult to obtain these knives. In Europe, you have to know, I have researched it a little bit, you have to know someone in Germany or Spain, perhaps, and then uh, you can get them to buy it and send it to you, but uh, that's a bit strange way to to, um, to sell your knives. Um, in the US you can get them, but the Canadians can't. Sorry, in the US you can get it in Amazon, but uh, Canadians, for instance, can't buy them on Amazon. I hope this changes. I realize that it's not that popular to do a review of a knife that no one can get. Uh, and I think it's uh, sad because it's uh, these are quite not quite nice knives. They made a few more, uh, and these are actually very very nice knives. I like them quite a lot. I've been carrying this one a lot, and uh, I find it sad that that it's so difficult for people to get them. But I hope, of course, that this, this gets easier so that this part of my review uh, gets sort of to be obsolete in a while, but uh, that's the way it is now, as of the 28th of January, so it's the 29th. Uh, but uh, as I said, I hope this changes. And with this, I want to, you to have a nice day, evening, whatever it is in your country. Bye bye.